Retro Rock plays everything. Ah, the early to mid 90s. The wild west of game controllers. And from this fertile ground came the high frequency Turbo SNES controller. Yep. It doesn't get more weird looking than this. Well, it does, but not in a SNES controller. All right, so let's take a look at this puppy and see what it's made of. First thing is, uh, general construction is okay. Um, D-pad is D -pad's pretty decent. Note that the bottom three buttons are concave and the top three are convex. I think the idea is you're supposed to rest your thumb here and see your thumb tip can hit the buttons. I think that's the idea they were going for here. It does it. It works okay. Um, these buttons are not rubberized. Uh, they are just straight up plastic. Uh, note if you look on top here, we have wait. There we go. Auto, turbo, and normal. So this is normal fire mode, and the color matches the color of the button that you're modifying. And then there is turbo mode right there, which means when I press the button, it does a rapid fire. And then there's auto mode way at the top, which is really hard to get into. Jeez. Um, and that one is a mode where it always is automatically firing. So it's a rapid fire that's running all the time. Ouch. That kind of hurts. Yeah, that was one of the things about this. Is just a weird, weird kind of layout. Uh, the other thing we have right here is, if you look real close, you see that this is a slow motion button or a slow motion switch. And these were kind of common at the time. They they don't really work that well on most games. You get kind of this bleep to tell you that you are uh, in pause, and what it does is it just basically pauses it really quickly. And it gets annoying really fast. It's kind of a, it, it, it's a feature that would work occasionally, but most of the time it would just annoy the crap out of you and be pretty much useless. I think it was another thing to put a switch on. And of course you got your two bumpers right here. And these are actually pretty nice uh, feeling bu bumpers, bloopers, bloopers. Nice, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, Again, you know, the size and heft is okay. The cable's about six feet long, so it's got plenty of room for that. The uh, connections themselves are actually pretty nice. I mean, they don't feel like they're gonna wear out anytime soon. Uh, it's the controller itself that, it, it's not terrible construction quality. It's not what I would necessarily call shoddy. It's definitely not like Famiclone shoddy, but it, it doesn't feel quite great either. So, um, yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. Let's try playing something with it. All right, so let's go for a little bit of Gradius. Start, good. And we'll just use the defaults here. All right, so first things first, uh, let's try this out on rapid fire. And there we go, yeah, that works. Yay. Oh, pff, I suck. Next, auto fire. And uh, took a bit to shove it in there, but there we go. We've got some auto fire. This is probably how it plays on an iPad with that infamous auto fire. There we go. Oops, I'm floating around there a little bit. All right, let's turn that auto fire off. I don't feel real comfortable with auto fire on. And then let's try it on slow mo. Okay, so uh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> and you can see what I'm talking about. How it just and look at how it just kind of stopped. 
Yeah. Sketchy to say the least. With that said, uh, the controller itself, it's not too bad. It's, uh, hold on a second. It's action's pretty good. It responds really well. The D-pad's, the D-pad's okay. It's pretty nice. I mean, it, it's kind of hokey, but honestly, honestly, it plays okay. And it's a little bit bigger than the SNES controller. So, uh, it works really well, uh, for big American hands. So, uh, I'm going to give it a thumb sideways. Uh, I like it, uh, but it's a little bit chintzier than I like SNES controllers to be. The SNES can be really, really hard on controllers, and I think the quality of this thing being a little bit low is probably going to cost it over time. Uh, I, I think if you get it super cheap, it's probably worth it. The auto, fi the auto fire is a nice feature, and the turbo fire is a nice feature, uh, but the slow motion is pretty much useless. So if you're looking for a slightly larger controller and you want it on the cheap, you can get these for sub $10 nowadays on eBay. So yeah, it gets a thumb sideways. It's okay. Not bad, not great. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. See you in a couple days. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos